Oh, well, look at you guys eat. Moisture there. Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, November sixteenth. And um, hope everybody is doing good today. Just doing, checking on everything. Over there to make sure everything on the, the dryer bin was working okay. And um, yeah. So uh, yeah, it was late again last night when I got to bed. I didn't think it was gonna get that late, but. Oh, we're just all kind of tired out, but anyways, I think my cousin, he got all the corn and loaded last night, so anyway, yeah, it's a nice day today, and uh, uh, the corn is going to help the corn dry down on the field, so anyways, um, we got to work at chores here, and then one thing we're going to do here today is we need to, uh, we need to, uh, we need to inject uh, moisture in the corn that we're gonna combine for high moisture corn. Hey, Cal, be quiet. <laughs> so we're gonna do that today. Take a combine a little bit of corn, get a more accurate moisture test, and we need to do that because the guy that we were renting, that's renting us the roller mill, he needs. Um, I think he's kind of looking to get it back here pretty soon because there's other people. I think that um, would like to use it so. We gotta do that, and if it's good to go, then we're probably gonna get the bag set up, the bagger set up, get the, get the whole thing set up, and start doing that process of doing the high moisture corn, so. And uh, the other field, we're just gonna do one field of that. The other field, we're just gonna combine, dry that down after my cousin Matt, or, yeah, my cousin, that's what it is, my cousin Matt, after he gets his corn dry, well, maybe, we had um, his, my cousin Matt, his nephew, he called us the other day. He was looking <laughs> to dry it, wanted to dry some corn down because he wanted to sell a couple loads of corn. And and uh, usually my my cousin's nephew and his dad, they usually ear pick their corn, but it's kind of wet this year. And uh, so, but you know, he wanted to sell some a load of corn. So I don't know, we haven't agreed to do it yet. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but um, anyways, I gotta get the chores here and uh, we'll see what happens here today.
just load the Peter Wagon for the young stock right now. And uh, I don't know how much, if we're going to get any combine, any corn or not, just to ch check the moisture with or not. I don't know if we're going to get that done. We're going to try to go to church here tonight. So we don't have to get up and go to church on Sunday morning. So I don't know what's going to take place if we're going to get any of that done. We need, it just had a, you know, you could pull ears of corn out of the field, but I think you get a more accurate sample when you combine a little bit and you know, you get it kind of all mixed together. You know, just, just simply can get a better average, if you want to say. But, uh, yeah, so that's, we'll see here if we get it, get time before we go to church or not. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh... It is a nice day out though. I checked the weather and my phone and it was 48 degrees, so that's nice. Um, yeah, I, I mean our corn is still kind of wet. The weather is holding. If, if the weather looked kind of iffy, I know there are people that are saying you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't do your cousin's corn. Well, we probably shouldn't, but the weather is holding and you know, as long as the weather is holding, it's giving our corn more time to dry down. And so, I guess we'll we'll see what we'll see if I do my cousin's nephew nephew's corn too. He is organic too, so everybody that we we're, of course we're gonna do is just gonna be organic. But I don't know how many bushels my cousin's nephew will have to do. But I know he milks. He he was the one that was milking on my cousin's my cousin Matt's farm, and now he he moved over to another place to milk his cows. And, He's just kind of looking for some extra revenue, I think, and that's why he wants to dry some corn down. But I don't know. We ain't gonna do this again next year if this happens. I know some of my cousins they need to invest in an air floor or a grain bin with an air floor. But, you know, I guess we made the investment back in 2015 on that bin over there. The other bin, the hopper bottom, we put that in in 2016. The other bin that we put an air floor in, we made, we did that in 2013, December of 2013, we put an air floor in there, so. Yeah, I mean, they're not cheap to put in, but they pay for themselves over time. I mean, it would be nice to get a batch dryer someday, but not right now. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna keep working at this and the chores and see what we get time for before church. Maybe after church, we can go combine some, we'll see, we'll see. I see my neighbor up there combining corn. If I could zoom in on him, he is right there. <laughs> out there with his red combine. Somebody was out there with the grain cart. <laughs> yep. He's up there getting some corn combine, finally. Well, we got that thing cleaned up. Well, we had to clean out some GMO corn in that thing. My brother got it cleaned out, we got it hooked up. So we'll see if we get a chance to get that hooked up, but I gotta run and go to church here. Okay, we're all done with every all the chores for for this day, and uh, so I guess um, didn't get any corn combine today, but I'll in the morning. So, anyways, guys, that's it for this part of the day. So I'm gonna run this video into the morning here. So I will see you guys later. Boy, it's, it's a wet 
corn. Hey, good morning, everybody. Another day. It is Sunday, Sunday the 17th, November 17th today. Just doing my normal morning routine here when the dryer's running. Just come out and check on it here this morning. Make sure everything's going good out there. There's no uh, gas leaks. There's not no fire, no fires out there, anything. Or no, nothing exploded during the night. I probably would have heard if something exploded. So we're just getting going here with chores. Um, we're gonna try to get this thing set up today with the uh, roller miller, the roller miller mill that's hooked up to the 8670 there. So, and we're gonna try to combine a little bit of corn today. So, do chores here first and then work at that. Good morning, Sylvester. Good morning. Huh. What are you camera shy this morning? Well, they're 290. Yeah. What about you there, 276? Are you happy? <laughs> okay, um, we're done with milking. And I'm just walking out here in the cow's lot to check and see if they clean up all their stuff in their feed bunks here. Looks like they did. So pretty hungry last night I didn't get the cows in so I didn't see what they if they needed any extra and in case anybody's wondering you know that's the gate where we don't normally let the cows out to the pasture but um, the pasture is done this time of year we can't let the cows out there because well the grass isn't growing anymore so there's no point in turning the cows out there to graze on grass that well just to pick it down only makes it worse for next year so yep so we're done for grazing cows for 2019 it just is too cold the grass is is done it's a different story if you live in if you live in Ireland like one of my um, YouTube or the one of my subscribers from you or Ireland James O'Brien I know he I know you <laughs> if you're watching this James you've got always got green pastures well maybe there's a little a few times that you it's too cold but in this part of the world the grass does not grow in the winter time you can't graze the box of Triscuits in here. Yeah, looks like I get some snack food now. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to bring a bagger back up here so we can mount that inoculator on there? Okay, I was talking to my brother on the phone. He took the bagger up top the hill so that way we could back the roller mill in front of that. But we have to put an inoculator on the bagger because we want to inoculate the um, high moisture corn and anyways I wasn't for sure why we couldn't just put it on up here and then he said well you well you'll see in a little bit why we have to do it that way but it just won't work out to put it on up here because we have to do it up there with it uh, everything hooked up because you have to have the conveyor out on the bagger and Otherwise, you crank the conveyor up, it will hit the uh, inoculator. So, so when we get done, we'll have to take it off. But I got to grab some tools in here. Uh, we got to grab a gotta grab the cordless drill and some drill bits, a couple wrenches. Um, but I have to get some bolts out in the other shed. So, anyway, that's what we're up to. We're going to get that thing rigged up here so it's ready to go for bagging high moisture corn. Okay, I'm just in the 
I'm in the dry cow shed here and uh, this is the, I gotta get this inoculator off the blower. So we gotta mount that on the bagger machine. So I was looking at to see how it's mounted on here and it looks like I got, I don't know, four bolts I gotta take off here on the back side. So yeah, that four bolts, actually six bolts I gotta take off. So yep. Gotta go get some uh, wrenches to go take that off. Okay, everybody, we got the, uh, I got the bagger and roller mill all hooked together. It's quite a setup. We got the PTO for the roller mill hooked up to the tractor. And the way it looks, these big fat hydraulic hoses, they, they pretty much run everything. They run the auger, the swing hopper to raise her up and down, and they run the, the auger to bring the corn into the roller mill. And it runs the auger to bring the corn out of the roller mill. And here's the PTO for the bagger coming out of the roller mill. There's, there's it hitched up. And the spout's gonna drop her in here down to the rotor. And then now we got to try to mount an inoculant applicator right up there where it says egg bagger so we can get some inoculant on this high moisture corn i think it'd be a lot better to have some there i'm a big believer in inoculant i think it really helps uh, fermentation process so and then we gotta put the bag on the bagger here yet Okay, there's how it's supposed to look. So, oh. Yeah, I'll rinse it down. Yeah, rinse it down. Well, here it's just... ready to go for tomorrow well except one thing hook up some wires and we'll be done yep be ready to go ready to go tomorrow well, oh yeah we got the backstop on here too so everything is good to go ready for tomorrow gonna shut this thing off leave it up here in the hill because we need it for in the morning oh 
And Sylvester is doing his business. <laughs> yep, so, so I'm going to head back up to the yard and uh, wrap up this video here. So, okay, I guess I'm just going to finish up the, this video in the machine shed here. So, woo, <laughs> making you guys dizzy there, twirling around. Um, yeah, so it's all ready to go for tomorrow. So all we got to do is do a little greasing on the combine over there. Grease up the head, grease everything that says 10 hours on it. And uh, look everything over, make sure that's good to go after using it over at my cousin's place. So, and then I think we're just gonna do some break through both fields, uh, that one field, um, well, we got two fields of corn left to combine. We're just going to kind of go, kind of go through both of them and get some different samples of corn and then get a test weight on it and then take that over to the seed place about a few miles from here and have them do a test weight on it and see what it, the test weight's running on that. And then whatever field has the lower test weight, that's the field that we're going to combine and put in the bag because the corn is high enough in moisture in both fields that we can, we can bag it. I think they say as low as you can go is probably like 25% moisture for high moisture corn. So, but this corner is higher than that. So, and my cousin's corn is still drying down over there in the bin. So, but I don't know. So we'll see here. But uh, tomorrow is another day, and we'll see what we can accomplish with the uh, bagging of high moisture corn, and um, we'll go from there. So, anyways, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate all your guys' views. Please, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And uh, check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Gaming. And that's all I've got. And oh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And um, that's it. So take care. Have a good night. And I will catch you guys later.